This section of the video training aid deals with the vibrometer onboard fan trim balance procedure for the CFM 56-7B engine. This video does not cover 100% of any process. Refer to the latest revision of the Boeing maintenance manual while performing this procedure. This video provides a description of the fan trim balance procedure for vibrometer 113, 114, and universal AVM boxes. The procedure is similar for the Endevco 213 AVM box. Note that the first step in troubleshooting engine vibrations is to use the fault isolation manual to find the cause of vibration. CFM ICSUMS 005 and 007 also provide recommendations relative to fan blade lubrication and engine N1 vibration levels. This trim balance procedure is done for the following three reasons. To decrease the fan or LPT vibration levels when they are greater than Boeing maintenance manual recommended or operator preferred levels. After the replacement or the repair of a fan blade when the correction is more than 236 gram inches, 600 gram centimeters. To reduce in-service engine vibration levels that have been reported by the flight crew. First, prepare the aircraft for the onboard fan trim balance procedure per the Boeing maintenance manual. Make sure that the balance screws on the rear spinner cone match the balance screw locations in the airborne vibration monitor. Obtain a balance sheet from the Boeing maintenance manual. Install the protective flooring in the inlet case. Locate the number one fan blade, which is immediately above the offset hole on the fan blade rear spinner. Use an approved marker to properly mark the number one fan blade. Note that fan blade and balance screw numbering is counterclockwise forward looking aft. At the first location of the left of the offset hole, record the P0 number on the head of the balance screw. If you cannot read the balance screw P0 number, measure the screw and determine its value on the chart in the Boeing maintenance manual. Note that the P07 screws are zero weights and do not need to be recorded on the balance sheet. Continue to record the balance screw P0 numbers until you have recorded all 36 hole locations. Note that there are 36 balance screws and 24 fan blades on the engine. Next, go to the aircraft electronic equipment access door and access the airborne vibration monitor. Push and release one of the four buttons to display the self-test on the front panel display. Push and release the no button until you see the imbalance data read screen. Push and release the no button. This causes the whole config screen to show. Push and release the yes button. This will cause the read config data screen to show. Push and release the yes button to display the balance screw locations in the airborne vibration monitor. Note that you will use the up and down arrows to display the balance screw data at all holes. P07 screws will not be displayed as they are default values. If you find that a change is necessary in the airborne vibration monitor, go back to the read config data screen. Push and release the no button to get to the reset actual config screen. Note that if you select yes at this point, you will reset all of the screws in the airborne vibration monitor to the default or P07 value. Push and release the no button if you only need to change a few balance screws. This will cause the modify actual config screen to show. Push and release the yes button. This will cause the whole XX P0X modify screen to show. Use the up and down arrows to get to the desired hole location. Once you are at the correct hole location, push and release the yes button. This causes the whole XX mod P0X save screen to show. Use the up and down arrows to increase or decrease the P0 value. Once you are satisfied that the airborne vibration screw matches the actual rear spinner screw location, push and release the yes button to save. Repeat at the other locations as required. Now it is time to perform the actual trim balance procedure. If the display is not active, push and release one of the four buttons to display the self-test on the front panel display. Push and release the no button three times until the balance screen shows. 
push and release the Yes button to go to the Balance menu. This causes the Airline Generic AXX screen to show. Push and release one of the four buttons. This will cause the Balance for Engine 1 question screen to show. Push and release the Yes button to access engine number 1's data, or push and release the No button to be directed to engine number 2. At this point, the Imbalance Data Read Question screen will show. To calculate a one-plane balance that will direct us to add weights to the fan rear spinner cone, push and release the No button two times. This causes the Balance 1 Plane Compute Question screen to show. Next, push and release the Yes button. This causes the X Flights Display Question screen to show. Note that the X refers to the total number of flights or trim balance runs in memory and could be a 1 through 6. If the no imbalance data shows, that tells us that there is insufficient balance data in the AVM and that a ground run will be required to gather this data. Once the X Flights Display question screen shows, push and release the Yes button. The next screen gives us the imbalance solution for each flight or trim balance run there will be up to six flights or trim balance runs in the system. This display will provide us with the fan balance weight solution in inch gram centimeters, the fan balance weight position in degrees. The last bit of information on this screen will be the flight numbers 0 through 5. Note that 0 is the last flight leg or the most recent ground run. Next, push and release the Yes button. This will cause the balance in progress screen to show. After a short time, the solution found display will appear. This screen tells us that there is a balanced solution for the fan. When this screen is displayed, push and release the Yes button. This will cause the AVM system to give us the specific balance weight and its location on the rear spinner to balance the fan. Using a piece of paper, record each new balance screw and its location on the fan spinner. Use the down arrows to read all 36 locations. Once you have successfully recorded all of the spinner balance screw locations, push and release the No button. This will cause the Save New Config question screen to show. If you do not want to keep the balance solution, push and release the No button. Push and release the Yes button to save the new balance weight locations. Note that after you push the Yes button, the balance history in the AVM is erased. If not already installed, place the protective flooring into the inlet. Locate the number one fan blade, which is immediately above the offset hole on the fan blade rear spinner. Use an approved marker to properly mark the number one fan blade. Note that fan blade and balance weight numbering is counterclockwise, forward-looking aft. At the first location where you need to install a balance screw, remove the existing balance screw. Lubricate the new balance screw with approved lubricant. Install the new balance screw and torque per the Boeing maintenance manual. Repeat the process to install the remaining balance screws. Remove the protective flooring and all other unwanted material from the inlet cowl. Perform the trim balance test only if the vibration level was more than 4.0 units. Monitor vibration levels on subsequent flights. Return the aircraft to its normal condition per the Boeing maintenance manual.